The circumference of a circle is the distance all the way round it. The length of the circumference can be found by multiplying the diameter by a special number called pi. This is the symbol for pi. The formula we use is c for circumference equals pi times the diameter. The diameter is double the length of the radius, so the circumference can also be found using 2 times pi times the radius. Here's the formula, c equals 2 pi r. Here's an example where the diameter is shown as 6 centimeters. The formula we need is c equals pi d, so we need to type pi times 6 into the calculator. On most calculators we need to press the shift key first, then the key with the pi symbol shown above it to access pi. Now press times 6 and then the equals sign and your calculator may show the answer simply as 6 pi. It has given the answer in terms of pi. If you press the SD button it will give the answer 18.8495592 which rounds to 18.8 .8 to one decimal place. So the circumference of the circle is 18.8 centimeters to 1 dp. Here's another example. This time we can see that the radius is 4 centimeters, so we are going to use the formula c equals 2 pi r. We need to type into the calculator 2 times pi times 4 and press equals. Again we may get the answer in terms of pi, so just press the SD button to get 25.13274123, which rounds to 25.1 to one decimal place. So the circumference of the circle is 25.1 centimeters to one dp. Here's the final example. Notice that the question is asking for the perimeter of the shape. We use the word circumference when we're talking about the perimeter of a circle, but this shape is not a circle. You can see that we're going to need to find the length of the curved part of the shape, which is a quarter of a circle, but we're also going to need to add on the two straight sides to find the total perimeter. Step one is to find the circumference of a whole circle that has a radius of five centimeters. So we need the formula c equals two pi r. So that's 2 times pi times 5. The calculator may show this as 10 pi, and if so, we'll need to press the SD button and find the answer 31.4 to one decimal place. But that's the circumference of a whole circle, so step 2 is to divide by 4 to get the bit we want, which is 7.85 centimeters or 7.9 centimeters to one decimal place. That's the curved part of our shape. Each of the straight lines must be 5 centimeters long, as they are each a radius of the circle. Step 3 is to add the three lengths together. We come up with the answer 17.9 centimeters. Try these three questions. Pause the video, then press play to reveal the answers. Here are the answers. The first question said that the circle has a diameter of 4 centimeters, so you can use the formula c equals pi d to find the answer 12.6 centimeters. Question b said the circle has a radius of 2.4 centimeters, so you can use c equals 2 pi r to reach the answer 15.1 centimeters. Question c is about a shape made from a semicircle joined to a square. First job is to find the circumference of the whole circle. We know it has a diameter of 6 centimeters because it's joined onto a square with sides of 6 centimeters. So the circumference of the circle will be pi times 6, which is 18.8 centimeters to one decimal place. We need to find half of that, so we divide by 2, so we now know the length of the curved part of the shape. The three straight sides are all 6 centimeters, so the total perimeter is 27.4 centimeters.